Good afternoon everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do some frontline touches like take off the hair system from the front, clean it and re, re put adhesive on it. It is not that complicated so I'm going to try to do it today without using any mirror. I'm going to bent on the camera so let's see how that goes. So the first thing you would need is those. This is really, really important when you do the front line touches so all the product doesn't come on your face. Then use some lace release. Sp spray some lace release. And normally what I do after I spray the lace release, I leave it for a few minutes, okay? But before before do anything i normally try to brush the hair up just you know taking try to brush the hair back completely so when i left the hair system i could you know make sure the hair is completely up nothing nothing remain stuck so here we go all right so basically what i'm gonna do I sprayed some lace release. I'm gonna leave it for a few minutes and come back to you. Hello guys, it's been nearly one minute. So here we go again. So basically what I do is spray a little bit more before I lift it up. Let me have a look. Yeah, that looks all right. So what we do now is lift it up very smoothly and then you start the cleaning process. So how I clean it? I use some cotton balls and basically I tap the cotton balls in here, okay? I tap it in here and I tap it on the hair system itself and then just to try to first Take off the adhesive by doing that. Do this a few times, guys. Don't you worry if you don't get it all in the first time. That's absolutely fine. And then after that, just to spray some, some adhesive. Try to wipe it. Do that a few times. It could take you a few minutes, to be completely honest with you, to take everything off completely i'll tell you a good trick if you want i uh, i sometimes do that actually i'm going to do that today i sometimes put the cotton balls okay put the cotton balls in here and put some cotton balls in the um get the cotton balls to stuck to the adhesive and then spray it with the lace release leave that for a few minutes and come back and take it off and it will be very clean it'll be really really clean all you need to do after that is just you know spray some lace release and, and wipe it off with some some napkin so basically i'm gonna do that here we go i'm gonna spray that here i'm gonna leave it for a few minutes and then i'm gonna come back to you to show you how to apply the adhesive Okay, here we go again, everyone. So I left it for a few minutes and then now I'm going to spray a little bit of the lace release. Somebody did ask me, what if it's not clean? What if the, um, it could easily, as you can see, it could easily just, after you spray, it could easily remove the um, cotton cotton balls from, from, from the hair system. So yeah, somebody asked me, what if it's not clean after you, you do that? The answer is easy. Yes, it happened to me sometimes when I just put the cotton balls, spray it with the some lace release and I just take off the cotton balls and it's still not clean. So basically what you do, you just repeat this process for a few more times and it should be absolutely fine. So now what you need to do, you need to double check. Is it clean? Is it completely clean? Yeah, the scalp looks clean so you need to check that you removed all the cotton balls from your head and then put it back you put it back to use my ultimate trick which is 
I'm going to show you in a few minutes. So basically, you put it back and then you use some sellotape. Get some sellotape to line where you would want to apply the adhesive so nothing gets in your hair and nothing gets on your head. You could easily draw a line with the with the marker or something, but I prefer the sellotape because nothing gets out of it and no other adhesive or extra adhesive got onto my hair, so it gives me the perfect line. So then you apply the adhesive. Yeah, being sunny these days and uh, being a little bit tan help actually to know the exact line for where to apply the adhesive. But as you know, it's not like that every, every day in the UK. So sometimes you need to find those uh, little tricks to you. So here we go. I put the sellotape and now I'm going to get the adhesive and start applying the adhesive on my scalp. I'll see you in a second. Hello, so now it's the time to apply the adhesive. So I'm using this type of adhesive. So, and I normally use my hand to apply the adhesive actually. A lot of people use a brush or use a lot of things, but I find it the easiest way is to, uh, is to use hand really. So here we go, put in, make sure you don't put too much, you use, you use the adhesive pit by pit. Because this is the um, last bit of this bottle, so I find it a little bit uh, difficult to get an adhesive out of it. So here we go, see how much I put? Just a little bit. Then apply it, and then just spread it equally. And we've got the um, we've got the sellotape exactly where we want it, so we know how forward do we need to go with the adhesive. So that shouldn't be shouldn't be an issue. So I've never done this on a camera before. I always use a mirror, so. We'll see how this turns out. I'm sure it should be absolutely fine. Um, I normally put two coats to apply two or three times, but because this is just a touch up, I'm gonna leave it for another three or four days. I'm gonna just put one, and I personally would advise not to leave your hair system for more than 15 days if you really wanna look after your, your hair system, if you want it to last for at least one year, so I basically get my hair system applied and fitted after I clean it properly. Leave it for 10 days, two weeks, something like that. And then give it a little touches at the front, for another, three, another two or three days. And then, yeah, and then take it out, clean it, put the other one on again. So here we go. So I nearly finished with applying the adhesive. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it for two or three minutes to completely dry, and then I'm gonna put down my hair system. I'll see you in a few minutes. So here we go again. I think we are ready. So basically the first thing we do is take off the sellotape that we put at the front to make sure the adhesive goes exactly where we want it to be. And now I call it the easiest part. You basically just push back your hair system. Here we go. Push it back nice and easy. Got this one and this one. Normally what I use to really push it back, I use these 
from the sellotape because they are non-sticky ones so you could just push back your hair system so this is today's video on how to apply the front touches obviously it might not look the best at the moment i need to shower wash it and style it tomorrow but i assure you after that it will look absolutely fantastic so this is today's video about how to apply the front touches of of the hair systems this could look a little bit complicated or challenging for some of you but with the time you'll find this process getting easier and easier and easier with the time and the results you get it is absolutely fantastic for me this is worth spending or investing half an hour every 10 days or, or seven days or whenever to get the look that I always wanted and to look younger and not being bald anymore. So this is today's video. If you have any questions about the hair system, leave a comment down below and have a great day. See you soon.